Do, 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 Taylor Watch. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Watch, where we are covering everything that Taylor brings to this world. Yes. Starting, of course, with the American Idol triumph. I mean, what an accomplishment. I know it was a really long time ago, but like I still but think you know about what? it to it was, this day. It was early days yeah. of American Idol. And in what world is uh is you're they're they're selecting through people everywhere, okay? The entire country. Everyone is coming to this, everyone's auditioning, everyone's singing their heart out, mm-hmm. and they come on the stage and they just blow everyone away. I know. It's it's such a difficult accomplishment I think, and I'm so proud yeah I think that's what like cemented them as like a triple threat because not only yeah. did they do American Idol but then when they went on Gossip Girl uh-huh Taylor just absolutely killed it like her their role is so iconic and when you think about uh when you think about the appearance on Gossip Girl the the Deep diving into that fashion world mm. is so hard exactly. to, to cross over. And you're right. It adds to it, triple threat, whatever. Yeah. Um, another little known, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. Factoid? Little known factoid or, mm. or um, uh, challenge thing, mm. thing they've had to overcome. Skill, you could say, is, right. uh, is football. Oh. It's, it's crazy to think about how much football was played and how they single-handedly changed high school sports in Texas. It's really oh, it's something. It's yes, something to be. Of behold. course. How could I forget about mm-hmm. the Dillon Panthers? Like you can't. They literally no were an Panthers. integral part of yeah. that. Yeah. You know, they really needed a tight end that could catch the ball at the right moment and Taylor did that for mm-hmm. them. And looking very hot while doing yes. it, I must say. Oh my god. Very, very Oh my hot. god, I love the long hair look. Long hair look is yeah. is unparalleled, yeah. really truly. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. And so. then to to end it all off, they Taylor celebrated um with the chicks in the office this weekend, which is just oh my so god, crazy. what an exciting thing! Yeah. I feel like not enough people in this office are talking about that, right? Like, Taylor, like, what a massive thing, and Taylor, Taylor. and Taylor. Yeah. It's just it's crazy. It's crazy to be old. What a what a thing! Definitely wanted to do some flips on stage, yeah. but uh, you could totally tell. You could totally tell. But thankfully, they they yeah. reined it in and Thank were god. professional as yes, always, which as we always. love endlessly. Yeah. So congrats to Taylor for yeah. again being the most wonderful Taylor. In the world. Very busy. <laughs> Very busy, busy week for Taylor. <laughs> Very for busy week for Taylor. American Idol, <laughs> Dylan Panthers football. Mm, Gossip Girl. Fashion icon. Yeah. Chicks in the Office Chicks in the Office show. show. Chicks in the Office show. Um, it is, of course, April Fool's Day. We are not. I'm not a, I'm not gotcha. an April Fool's queen. Yeah. Whoop, gotcha. <laughs> Those were all the other Taylors. You got me with Taylor Momsen for I a second. Just, I was like, ooh. I know. I didn't realize where you were going with Taylor Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch. Yeah, Taylor I Kitch. thought of Taylor Momsen right then and there. That was a smart one. Yeah, that was a smart thanks. one. Yes, of course. Taylor Hicks, Taylor Momsen, Taylor Kitsch, and Taylor Lautner. And yes. Tay Lautner. Don't forget. Yeah, Tay. Um, there aren't as many famous Taylors as you would think. So we were trying to execute this joke and do like a whole episode based on another Taylor, Taylor but she's is, the most famous Taylor. She's definitely the most famous Taylor. <laughs> Taylor Lautner, Taylor. Taylor Lautner is close. But yeah. then, but then you have to remember that bits of Taylor Lautner have fame because of Taylor because Swift. Of Taylor Swift. Yeah, so it's that is like, true. But yes, it is April Fool's Day. Thank God that we haven't had any real pranks. I around. I'm not a big. I fucking hate pranks, y'all. I hate. I'm hate. not a pranker, nope. and I'm also not a pranky. Like I'm no. not a. I I don't really like to be pranked. No, I, I don't like to be surprised. It, in fact, I hate it. In fact, and I I like get nervous that there's gonna be a prank. <laughs> like there is there gonna be a prank? No, I okay, didn't okay. plan. No, I did not plan any pranks for I you. I had. Thank God. Thank no. God. I did not plan any pranks for you. I do not like pranks. No. But um but no, we're just being silly. We're being silly on April Fools. I think that um I have yet to see really any fools this year. No, I didn't have you seen no, any like jokes? I, I really haven't. No, I, I've just seen a bunch of stuff with like, oh my god, my local you wait, you know Milburn Deli? Oh yeah, yeah. If you're from New Jersey, you know Milburn yes. Deli. They posted yesterday that, like, all the Milburn Deli locations... By the way, this is, like, the most famous deli in New Jersey. It's, yes. like, the best sandwiches in the world, Really no delicious. Doubt. Worth, like, traveling for, yes. like, critically Chrissy acclaimed. Teigen, Chrissy Teigen yeah. gets them sent to her house in yes. California. Yes, critically acclaimed yeah. cold cuts and such. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they posted on their Instagram that Jersey Mike's was buying all of their, <gasps> like, locations and that, like, all the Milburn Delis were going to become Jersey Holy Mike's. shit. And everyone was like, wait, what the fuck is this? Like, this can't be April Fool's because it's March 31st. Right, it's not April Fool's. And then they post and they're like, ha ha, like, you know us at Milburn Deli, like, we don't do things, like, the normal way. Oh, like, stop it. Oh, that- fuck off, you're a sandwich. Would, you're a yeah, deli. You're a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a sandwich. Stop. <laughs> 
There is, you like can't Miranda. do anything the normal way. Like, fuck you. Like Miranda in Sex and the City when that sandwich is like, yeah. made to her. She's like, you're a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when she like doesn't know she should fuck the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. like gets, right. She like gets obsessed with the guy inside the sandwich. Yeah. God, that's a hilarious episode. Um, speaking of Sex and the City, it's on Netflix now. So if was that you are real? Not, yes, that's real. Okay. That's real. That was already planned like far in advance. That I can't with these announcements. I, I, I don't know, know the what's fake real, announcements. I know. Yeah. But no, no, that was already in the works. And so now it is on Netflix allegedly. I mean, I hope it's not fake. They were talking about it weeks ago, being oh. like, it's coming to Netflix soon. Is it still on Max? Um, I'm sure it is. Mm. It's an HBO show originally. So yeah. For those who, uh, I can't imagine a world where you haven't seen Sex and the City at this point, but um, if you haven't, it's well oh worth, my God. well worth. It's like six and a half seasons. It's, you know, uh, 6A and 6B is how it ends, and then two movies, and then the rebooted series, and just like that, which is not great, but it's once you become attached to the girls, mm. you have to figure out it's how worth, it happens. Yeah. Like you gotta, you just, you just watch because you're loyal to these women, but what? Um, it's such an important show. Oh. Like, it's, it's ridiculous, by the way. Like, you, you're supposed to, like, pretty much hate everybody, yeah. but then you become attached to them and their faults, and you want them to succeed, but you still hate them like everybody hates Carrie Bradshaw for real and so does she like she's talked shit about how stupid yeah. Carrie Bradshaw is but and you're sometimes supposed I, to watch but sometimes her, like, you around. are Carrie Bradshaw sometimes you're yeah. Carrie Bradshaw unfortunately yeah. it's a, I think it's one of the it's most an important opening shows. experience yes yeah one of the most important shows to watch as far as uh recognizing self-awareness goes yeah. you gotta yeah. be gotta be self-aware what and, um, um albums would you correlate with each oh my god great sex question, and city Gia. character hmm oh my god you I know think what Samantha Rep- would be reputation Samantha for sure for sure yeah I bet that um, I think Miranda is like a folklore or evermore. Like she's such a she's such, I could she's see so that. gloom and doom. Yeah, yeah, folklore. Yeah, Carrie Maybe. would probably be like she might be 1989. Okay, what I could see think? that. What I was thinking, think? speak now. She's, Just because she's like a little immature. Speak yeah, yeah. So speak now. Okay, yeah. You're spot on with that. And Shiloh would probably end up being like, like debut or like okay. a lover. I thought lover, lover yeah, totally. because she's so like de- like she really really wants to find true love. love. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. she wants is love. A hundred percent, she's lover. That's great. Oh, I never yeah. even thought to pair them with. I know, me neither. I think that's that a good pairing. My head. Yeah, I agree. I think I would put maybe um, Evermore, yeah. Evermore, Evermore for Miranda, for Miranda. Yeah. In, instead of folklore, because yeah. I think that Evermore is more her vibe. Yeah. I, you know like champagne funny? problems I feel like is so totally, her vibe totally totally you know what's funny about Miranda is she's the one that everybody kind of hates in the beginning but she's the one that has the most growth and you end up loving the most yes, at the end yes totally like she she's is so the annoying in the like, beginning she is annoying but she like comes into her own and realizes all this bullshit and grows up the most and I, I so I love Miranda and I identify with Miranda a lot more now yeah. like her her like um, refusal to or no impatience with people is always yeah. my, my favorite thing in the world yeah. anyway so that's that's happening um, but apart from all that, April Fool's Day, Sex and City, blah, blah, blah. Happy April. We are finally, finally in the month that we get a Taylor Swift yeah! album. Woo! When this comes out, it'll be 18 days. Oh my God, I'm so excited. How I'm exciting. So We're excited. in the tens. In the tens. In the teens, should I in say? In the teens. In yeah. the teens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but so pumped. God, up I'm so about excited. It, y'all. Not one so fucking excited. lick of, of promo. Still no promo. I did watch a TikTok. Yeah. It was kind of calling me out or calling us out, maybe, or calling all oh, of shit. us out, maybe. Maybe because they all were of like, us as Swifties? Did yeah, they tag us? They were like, you guys are greedy. Time, like, she's on tour. She's doing oh, this. Please. She's doing that. Like, but they also made a really good point. So was she with, at Midnight's? That's true. Yeah. But with. Or was she? No, she wasn't on tour. No, yeah, I guess yeah, it no. hadn't started yet. No, no yeah. Sorry, sorry. I take the back. Um, But she also made a very good point in which. You don't want an oversaturation of Taylor Swift. And obviously for us, that would never happen. And like right, diehard right. fans, like we can't get enough. Mm-hmm. We don't get Taylor Swift fatigue in but, this house. Yeah, but it does make sense, but some you know, do. that she's been so in the news with mm-hmm. the with the tour and mm-hmm. the boyfriend and blah, blah, blah. Everything's just going on. New album. Super Bowl. That maybe a month break and a month of quiet mm-hmm. is more hype than I am kind of promoing it. I kind of agree. Yeah, like, I, I agree too. I kind of feel like, right, she, and she is someone who is very aware of the fatigue, very aware of like the criticism and people like jumping off the bandwagon. Yeah, it's just something like, that happens. by seeing her face all the time and like, yeah. which is fucking stupid, obviously, but it does happen to people because yeah. people are stupid. And, um, happens to celebrities. Happens to and celebrities I feel like it happens to female celebrities a lot. Constantly, yeah. constantly. Look at Anne Hathaway. Yeah. But, um, it's, uh, it's a shame. However, I saw something along the lines of like, 
she knew obviously Beyonce's album was coming out. Right. And Ariana, and Ariana, yeah. Casey Musgraves, right. like everybody kind of, well, Casey kind of got swept up because she announced her album. But yeah. like, the, I am, the, out of all the albums that have been released so far, I listen to Casey Musgraves the most. I, the oh, most. Really? I know that I say this constantly every week. Something about, she's, I'm vibing with, with Deeper Well right mm. now. Like it's just, uh, it's stuck in my head constantly. I've been on a Cowboy Carter. It goes, it goes, um, Casey, Ariana, Beyonce. However, I need to get back into, uh, I need to listen more to Beyonce. Beyonce mm. unfortunately dropped after I was spending, um, time at uh, Ted's Bar in Yukon, which by the way, if I, if we chatted at Ted's Bar and I gave you advice on your life or career or anything like that, please take it with a grain of salt. I was hammered drunk. Oh. Like I was so drunk. And I and I think that I'm fine. And mm. if it seemed like good advice, it probably was. But if it sounded outlandish and it was like, make any crazy moves in your life, please don't listen. Yeah. Okay. Um just just keep that in mind. However, th- Friday I was I it was a, a level ten hangover. Mm. I had no no other way to describe it. Level ten. So I tried to listen to Cowboy Carter on the train home mm. and I just wasn't in the right mindset to listen. I get that. And so um but I do love the song so far. I love the song with Post Malone. That's my favorite. Oh one. yes, so good. Levi That's Jeans. My favorite one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levi Jeans. That's I think I'm fave. Cowboy Carter. Eternal Sunshine, then Deeper Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I've just been in that, I've been in that Deeper Well mindset. Good for, for you. For some reason. Yeah, which is nice. Very introspective. Nice. Yeah, it feels yeah. introspective. You yeah. know me. You know me. Obviously. Um, But yes, yeah, so people were saying online that she maybe was holding off on promo because all these other women were getting right. some shine, especially Beyonce. They may have had like an agreement, like, hey girl, like, please let me, you know, let me mm. have a couple weeks or something. Mm. Um, the only thing to counteract that is that I guess she changed all of her... Uh, profile pictures to the Torch of Poets Yeah, finally. Picture. Was that like two like days the, ago? Yeah. Two or three days ago? Yeah, yeah. it was like Saturday, Friday, either Friday or yeah. Saturday. Like I whenever, thought that After that, Cowboy Carter came out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So after that happened and Cowboy Carter came out, I was mm-hmm. like, oh, now is the Now time. we're going to get it. Now we're going to get it. And then it's just kind of been quiet. So far, but nothing. that's okay. You know, it's but okay. But we still have time. We still have time. Uh, you know, maybe nothing this and week, but we still have... You have to keep in mind, you never know. we said this last time too, like mm-hmm. a lot of stuff got ruined because of the leaks and stuff, like yep. the track list and yep. stuff. So yep. like there wasn't yep. anything fun with that, that she mm-hmm. did with Midnight's and stuff. So like mm-hmm. what really else is there to do? No one to blame but ourselves, but yeah. yourselves, leakers, mm-hmm. I yeah. should say. Blame the leakers. Mm-hmm. Unless she does like a... I, it would be really fun for her to do like a pop-up in New York the way that Olivia Rodrigo does. She has oh, like I the Guts that. tour pop-up yeah, stores. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and they sell like exclusive merch like the city and stuff. They had one in that Toronto. That so mobbed. Yeah, oh my know? God, it'd be insane. You know what I have not gone to? Maybe we should look into. I, I couldn't tell if it was like legit or, you know, somebody profiting off of Taylor or whatever. That like Taylor Swift experience slash museum thing that's up in um, Columbus Circle. Oh, have you seen that? No. I pass by it sometimes if I take an Uber and um, if I'm going downtown. And <laughs> my last Google search is, "Can Botox move around your face?" Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have like a I have like a Uh-oh. feeling of a bruise right oh. here, and I was like, "Did I like hurt myself?" But I got Botox like a week and a half ago. I don't oh, think then it's, it's probably I don't just think settling. It's yeah. No, I, it's not even here. I, it's all the way up here. That's oh. why I was like, can it move down into my eyeball? And I don't think it can. Maybe you bang and It's your also head? not stiff or anything. Yeah, I think I just probably hit myself in the face while I'm sleeping or something. <laughs> just me panicking. Yeah. Um, let's see. Taylor Swift. Experience? Yeah. It's like a Experience NYC. Huh. Well, I guess if they call it the Taylor Swift Experience, it has to be through her no because like that would be instantly it's the museum of arts and design taylor oh. swift storyteller taylor swift all access passes 20 dollars includes general mission blah, blah 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 it's a career spanning look at the artistic reinventions of the 14-time grammy award-winning artist who is the most prolific songwriter who's one of the most prolific songwriters in history highlights include the cheerleader and ballerina ensembles from award-winning music video for shake it off the red wedding dress and bellhop uniform from wait a minute oh my god and bellhop uniform from i bet you think about me oh my oh. god maybe we should go 100 percent. wait we this. should go because i pass by it i'm always like oh yeah yeah whatever concert oh, wait, attire yeah, by couture fashion houses oh my god let's go okay so this looks actually more legit than i thought oh okay. i thought it was like some bootleg thing that people were trying to make money off of but it's the museum of arts and design wait that's it's fun right we should go apartment. like this weekend yeah let's go i'm not kidding okay let's go. Cool. i got nothing well my brother's coming oh but we'll go he can come he he honestly he might like it yeah on Saturday him, yeah we'll see if he wants if he, to go if he it is his go. birthday and he does oh. want to go to the Nintendo store so we shall see oh but God. regardless we should go I want to go to the Nintendo it's store it's up until oh we gotta go oh no oh Jane. no did we miss it March 24th oh fuck fuck oh my god and it was open for a year <laughs> every time I 
<laughs> Every time I passed it, I went, Wait, oh, that's that's what? blue leg. That's not real. I'm not giving my money to that. That's not Taylor. I had no idea what that that was fuck? even a no, thing. No, I knew. I knew. I brought it up a thousand times. Wow. Fuck. We were just living under a rock that for a That is so crazy. Year. It literally ended last week. What what the fuck? Damn, that's disappointing. I was Let's excited. See. Let's see. No, I mean, that's it, right? What if I yeah. called him up and was like, wait, leave it up for one more day? <laughs> well... Well, well, that was a nice thought, I guess. That was a nice thought, I guess. Would have been cool. Would have been cool. Fuck. That sucks. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for getting our hopes yeah, up with that. Yeah, that's okay. Sorry for getting our hopes up. Anyway, so I've, whatever. Yeah. We missed it. I really, though, like, they did a terrible job advertising it. Like, I just, I thought yeah, it was, I, like, some bootleg bullshit. I did not think it was real. I really didn't see anything about that. Egg on my face. Mm, Egg sorry. on my face. Anyway, so that's that. Wow, and what a miss, too. I love the I'll Bet You Think About Me music video. We could have seen that big-ass dress. Oh, oh annoying. yeah. <sighs> We're so stupid. Why I do, and I like seeing this? that stuff. I When I went to me the Met too. and I saw all the uh, like outfits that they wear, yeah, that's so the best. cool. I love that's that. Yeah. I know. Fuck. Yeah. Damn. Well, anyway, oh, that aside, sorry for getting everybody's hopes up. What were we talking about before that? Um... <laughs> Why did that even come up? Um, I don't know. I don't remember. I can't believe Taylor Swift experience. Taylor, yeah. Taylor Swift experience. Oh, you were saying you wish that she would do like a pop up in the city or something. Oh yeah, yeah, so anyway, yeah. For right. promo. For, for promo. promo. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Honestly, though, think like whenever these promos happen, when she goes on talk shows and stuff, I know I, I've said it a few times that it usually doesn't happen until the week of or the week after. Yeah. Like there's still plenty of time for her to do all that kind of shit. And I, um, you know, whether she does it or not, I don't think she really needs to. We're all so excited. And when the album there. drops, it's all anybody's going to be talking about. Yeah. So, you know, we shall see, I guess. Yeah. But I'm not uh, I'm not really upset or like, give me promo. Where's hmm. Taylor? Like, I'm yeah. not really no, feeling that way. Me I'm neither. kind of feeling like, oh, no, no, no. We all know what's coming. Yeah. And I just kind of miss like her. I'm like, hey, girl, miss you. I miss her, too. Yeah. There's not a lot going on. But I get it. You know, well, she I, needs time off. She needs a vacay. I, I wrote down some topics oh what what do you have um what do you have? thanks g yeah of course it was a, it was a slow weekend it was well, it was one big thing that i did want to talk about was let's start this with the billy eilish vinyl stuff did you see oh, that oh god yes i did yeah. billy eilish and then do you have a uh, uh, the umg thing yeah on i have there? the umg cool, on cool, there cool. yeah yeah sabrina carpenter um, sabrina well? carpenter's on okay, there okay, yeah. okay, okay. Um, um the billy eilish thing i feel bad right now for billy eilish a little bit because she's getting crushed for saying that you know some of your faves are putting out too many variations of vinyls and whatever and we've complained about this on the mm-hmm. show before about how we think it's kind of ridiculous to put out a whole new vinyl with like one song on it whatever but how taylor and many artists do this yeah casey musgraves does it olivia rodrigo does it yeah. everybody's doing it yeah billy was talking shit about it billy did it she, billy did it herself <laughs> yeah. and um but people immediately took it to believe uh it she was, was talking about shade taylor, taylor. yeah so she's getting shaded and yeah. she posted something on her she, story right yeah i uh that was like i think off. i sent it to myself but yeah she basically was like I saw it somewhere twitter um, probably did i send it to myself no that's reba i'll find it on twitter yeah <laughs> no that's reba. no that's reba billy eilish vinyl did your boots stop, stop working did your did here it is here it is oh, i yeah. got it it says, um, okay, so she posted this on her story. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it would be awesome if people would stop putting words into my mouth and actually read what I said in that Billboard article. I wasn't signaling or yeah, singling anyone out. There are industry-wide systemic issues, yeah. and when it comes to variants, so many artists release them, including me, which I clearly state in the article. The climate crisis is now, and it's all about us trying to be part of the problem. It's all about... Uh, hmm. And it's about all of us being part of the problem and trying to do better. Sheesh. So. I get that. I get it too. But it's like, did she, what did she think was going to happen when she said that? Yeah. Also I, at the same time. Yeah. Like, did she, especially like. I didn't read the full article, so I wonder like if I only saw it got clip. misconstrued. Yeah. I only just saw that clip of her saying what she said. Right. And I will say like, it is hypocritical of her to say that when she's done something like that. Yeah, but like. Yeah. You learn from your mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, you learn, like, I had no idea that vinyls were that bad for the environment or I whatever. I had no idea yeah. either. No idea. So, I mean, I get what she's saying for sure. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. like, I'm kind of on her side a little bit in the fact that, like, these vinyl variants are so dumb. Well, it's so fucking stupid. We've we've always been on that side of yeah. things where it's like, we don't need these vinyl, vi- uh, 12 of like, the same thing. Like, just release one fucking vinyl with one all the vinyl, extra songs on it. Yeah. Vinyl should be exclusive to hold everything. Like, you can, if you want to release variants, you know, on, on Spotify, like how Taylor yeah, did the, yeah. the Till Dawn edition, 3 a.m. edition, like, if you want to do all that bullshit, do it. 
But the multiple um, records like that, yeah, it is annoying. And again, yeah. like I told you, I have like fucking six uh, midnights in my it's house. It's expensive. For what? And it's I hate ridiculous. to admit it. Why do I have that? I, I hate to admit it. I bought the black dog and the bolter. <laughs> Okay, I did. I bought two wow, that's other a confession. variants. That's a confession. I didn't even know you got them. I don't think I knew that you got them. We discussed it. I remember because I want to hear the song. <laughs> no, of course I want to hear it's, the song. And it's that's, just it's so no, frustrating. It's, it's, it's a so bullshit. It's like such a fun. It's like I feel so morally conflicted because yeah, of it's like I want these songs, yeah. but I don't want to spend my money, and yeah. I don't want to be a. I don't want to contribute more to climate change that I already no. probably am contributing. I know. And also, yeah. is Billy the only one talking about this being like an environmental problem? I think it's yeah. more like I think, I've never heard anybody say. It and like that's that. like that was like her whole point. She wasn't like it's annoying. Like no one do it. Like she's like yeah. it's actually like not good for the earth. Right, to right, keep right. doing this, which so I care I about it. for sure. I more so think of it as as like yes, it's extremely wasteful. It's also taking advantage of of people who like us want to hear all the songs, want to be involved, mm-hmm. like whatever. But I don't think that this is. Uh, this is like an artist thing. I think this is a label thing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that artists necessarily need to shoulder all of the blame for yeah. this because the labels have these, uh, you know, rules and regulations set out ahead of time, especially when new albums, new music is coming out. They say like, all right, we need to hit X, Y, Z and record sales. This is the plan we're doing to make that number. Mm -hmm. And within that plan, it's multiple variants. It's Mm -hmm. this, it's that. It's Mm -hmm. different merch drops. It's whatever. Like Taylor Swift isn't coming up here. Or any of these artists aren't coming up here being like, I'm going to put out 15 vinyls. Like nobody is wanting that, I don't think. However, they don't stop it. Yes, that's what I was going to say. I feel like they they have a say. Yeah, I feel like someone like Taylor Swift. I feel like yes. Taylor would. But someone maybe newer in the industry, probably not. But I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like someone like Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, like... They can say yes or no to how many yeah, vinyls. Yeah, I don't know drop. though because they might have they might be like caught up in contracts that have them like having to make a certain amount yeah, of money. You know yeah, what I mean? that's like, true. I don't know. I think that the which kind of I I want it to trickle into this UMG hype Scooter mm-hmm. Braun bullshit because um, it's becoming more clear than ever. I mean, we've always known that these record labels and these people and whatever it's just like money hungry monsters, and I just feel so much like these people want control over artists in ways that it just to make money and mm-hmm. it's like like almost like um like click farming but with like using musical artists yeah and I just feel like I don't know but so I I kind of skimmed the details on this UMG thing mm-hmm. um and you know read a couple tweets whatever it's not exactly what people think people okay. think that like Scooter Braun is coming in and partnering with UMG and is like going to own Taylor's music again. Yeah. Not true. Okay. Not factual. What's happening is that UMG bought or is buying or is partnering with whatever this new brand that Scooter Braun is like the CEO of or the founder of Hype, whatever it is. So then UMG will also control like the artists under that umbrella, not the other way around. So like Scooter and Taylor will have nothing to do with each other. However, I am surprised that UMG is willing to bring someone in, like bring a fox back in the hen house right, right. that Taylor is in, which makes me wonder, will Taylor eventually like just start her own label and do her own shit? Yeah. You know? That's in the that's what that girl talked about in the TikTok that yeah, you sent I me sent that. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. When she was like, I feel like at this point, like Taylor, like she has the pull, obviously. She has yeah. the money, obviously. Yeah. Like any young up and coming artist like that would have the opportunity to work under Taylor Swift's music label, like absolutely what why would you not want to do that if, especially like if taylor like you know tries to make it more fair more just for money totally for, you know like, tries to make it right tries yeah. to help help all their artists you know own their own work do own as much of the money as they can i wonder if they asked her like hey is it cool if we partner with I feel scooter like braun ha- like would yeah. they would they you know? yeah i don't know which kind of leads into the sabrina carpenter skims thing in that whole conversation of like totally taylor swift letting or not letting but like yeah. taylor swift's friends like you you got the money you exactly. gotta get that bag you gotta exactly. get that bag like exactly. she's not she's not so right so uh it's like yeah i'm not gonna like stop umg from partnering with scooter no. braun because like 
because of my know, personal problems with totally. him. As long as we can keep, as long as he's yeah. far the fuck away from yeah. me, like as long yeah. as he is is knows nothing about what I'm up yeah. to, is is completely separate from all my bullshit. Fine, whatever. I th- also yeah. thought he was like retiring from the whole thing and starting something new overseas. Like I thought he was, I thought he was dead. You know what I mean? Like, and clearly yeah. he's still like trolling still around kicking Hollywood somewhere. Like a yeah, fucking freak. I can't stand his ass. <laughs> I can't ugh. stand him either. He's just, oh, he's disgusting. Yeah, he's gross. Every time I look at him, I'm just like, you're, you're so pathetic, so like, slimy, you're just so, so vile. Yeah, ew, Scooter Braun, <laughs> ew, fuck. But whatever. But yeah, Anything wonder... works under him, like, ugh, just yeah. garbage, garbage. Like, I don't even care. Scooter Braun could kick this door open and be like, I'm gonna make you a star, and I'd be like, I'll pass. Yeah, literally, I would. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would pass. Not no, Scooter I would Braun. Pass. Not that way. No, not, not that, that way. way. Because I, if I ever did become famous and I met Taylor Swift, I would never want her to know. No. Like, that's how I got famous. Exactly. Like, no, it'd I'd be die. a betrayal to her. Complete like, betrayal. Complete betrayal. Betrayal to like everyone that I know and love. Completely. Like, yeah. Completely. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. 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 Um, kind of, sp- I mean, not really speaking of Scooter Braun, but I'm kind of starting to like draw, draw some lines, draw some parallels. Oh. Um, and UMG as well. Our, uh, our guy, uh, Lu- Luke, Lucius. Malfoy? Lucius? No, Grange. Elliot Grange's father. Okay. Is, I think it's oh, he's either like the Lucius owner. or Lucian. Yeah. Lucian. Okay, okay. He's like the owner of UMG. Yeah. He is wrapped up in this Diddy lawsuit. Oh. Which is scandalous. And UMG is involved in it somehow. Like, not just him. I think because of, like, parties and stuff. Like, whatever. Oh. I didn't look at the details for UMG. I only was reading, like, the Diddy details. Right. And that, like, assistant or old, old person he had working for him, photographer he had working for him crazy shit if you yeah. haven't read it it's fucking nuts uh, diddy obviously had a uh, a tandem home raid both his house in miami and la looking for uh electronics that have evidence of videos of him at parties with like underage girls right. and like all this other bullshit so that's what they were looking for allegedly and um there's all kinds of stories but L- lucian grange is named in the lawsuit and is like in trouble oh. some way like you know whatever and he's head of umg so umg's in hot water on like you know yeah. sex trafficking charges right Jesus. now like, they gotta clear their name so yeah I don't know. it's coming They're from all angles right now, you yeah know what I mean? and with They're the tiktok right stuff too like with the tiktok yeah. thing and i'll say this i um i've said before now the bachelor's over i can finally get back on tiktok but um i uh you know i I go looking every once in a while for like something fun to do like a trend or like a song or whatever but the only ones i ever did were taylor swift things yeah and now they're all gone i know it's so annoying trying to find like what am i gonna do on tiktok like i'm just not no, it's crazy. Know. And like also I like I hate promoting. doing like the listicles and like that's just not my vibe. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm going to list my top 10 things or like I'm going to, that's just really not my vibe on TikTok. I just talk at the camera pretty much. Yeah, but so do I. My, but I would like to break it up with, with some, some singing or some yeah. lyric, finish the lyrics. Or, no, it is crazy. I mean? Like that's how, and that's how people promote their albums now. Like yeah. TikTok is such a vital part of I know. getting songs to blow up. Mm-hmm. Like think about all the big songs that are right now. They're all literally from TikTok. They're all TikTok songs. Yeah. So like. Not being able to promote your album on TikTok sucks. Like I can't suck. find any of the new Casey Musgrave songs on I know, TikTok. It blows. Yeah, it's not fair. But I guess so then, Beyonce's not under UMG though. I thought she was, but she's, I guess she's no, not. She's title, I think. I think, oh, I think maybe her and Jay Z are like title for life. Oh, right? okay, that makes sense. I think is title. I thought title was just streaming, but it's it also is. But a, I think it might be. I might be so wrong on this. Hold on, let me look it up. Because I'm sure you can see on says. on Cowboy Carter like who Beyonce's record label. Yeah, like I'm sure it says on the bottom like info. You know. I'm leaving, but I swear. No, she signed to Columbia. Oh, she's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So never mind. Totally take it back. But Parkwood Entertainment. Interesting. Founded by American singer songwriter Beyonce in 2010, company began as a c- production unit for films and videos mm. in 2008. Mm. Um. So yeah, that's her. She's her own record label. She owns her own record label called Parkwood Entertainment. Okay. So Taylor, let's go. It's yeah, right. It's, Beyonce's doing it. Do it. Beyonce, I feel like Taylor and Beyonce, you know, give and take as far as ideas go with each other. Like, yeah. they're both very smart businesswomen. They're doing, you know, they're on a similar path. They're, you know, doing whatever. I think this is this is the next step for Taylor. Yeah. Should be. Like, Agreed. Imagine she starts her own record label in the middle of all this. That'd like, be crazy. That'd be fucking nuts. I'd be like, please sign me. Like, literally, please no, sign same, me. No, same, same, same. I would, like, I'd break out my... <laughs> Start like, going to vocal lessons? Yes, 100%. Without, please with, within me. Within two seconds. Um... But that is interesting, so, though. Yeah. That's good to know because I, well, I feel like that's a mature so response from Taylor, like regarding the UMG, like all that stuff. Like, it's mature. It's mature of her if this is the case to just like kind of be like, you get your bag, 
it's okay if you need to totally or yeah. just just to ignore it completely yeah just yeah. to be like keep me out of it yeah Get my name off your fucking lips yeah like you know because it just seems like scooter bronze a fucking cockroach that'll never go away yeah but um yeah i don't know i think that the umg thing with tiktok like when are they gonna come to a come to a head on that I, don't I feel know. like UMG's been like trying to play hardball and was like, "Look what you're missing without." And I wonder if if they have noticed a difference, or if they ha- if they haven't noticed a difference, what do they care? Yeah, you know? exactly. My mom was like, it's "They like should just have first. it so that like people can pay for music on TikTok." And I was like, "No, nobody no wants know. to pay for something that you can that you got for free for so exactly. long." Exactly, or streaming. Like, yeah, you're not gonna. Yeah, it's right. like, I already pay for Spotify. I, I don't want to pay for song. TikTok. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, what, like pay one ninety nine to watch this TikTok? Like, I'm yeah, to that. like use the sound. That's crazy. Yeah, it's so no, stupid. No, no, no. Yeah, that's dumb so as hell. I don't know. But um, that would be so crazy, right? To like you pay a dollar to use the sound or yeah, something. Yeah. Although I mean, crazy things have happened. There was a day where it was ninety nine cents to to listen to a song on iTunes. Mm, fucking Elon Musk tried to like limit your scrolls on Twitter or some so like page crazy. refreshes. So fucking like, nuts. Fuck off. Imagine that. And that too is never like, limit that my is, page refresh. No, right. But that also is preying on the like obsessive, compulsive, like addictive parts of social media mm-hmm. where people will go on Twitter and they're not even like their eyes are glazed over and they're just refresh, 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 scroll, scroll, scroll. Yeah. Get off Twitter. Couldn't tell you a single thing I was looking at. You yeah. know what I mean? Like people, that's how people look at social media a lot of the time, sure. more than you think. And uh, so that, so just to be capitalizing on like, addiction to mm. that like that to me yeah. is weird you know what I mean yeah there are people have you seen those things where it's like people ask um uh, I'm trying to think of specifically the example there was like a girl on the street and she was asking like how many times do you like open Twitter a day how many times do you do whatever oh, refresh God. your phone like text so and so like what do you do and I always think that I'm like just must be in the top one percent of people that are like looking at my phone all the time. I'm not even close. Like really? people are people are so addicted insane. to their phone. I'm so, so addicted, addicted to my phone though. Like I'm very addicted to my phone too, but I promise there are people who are more addicted. Right. Like, it's crazy. And so it th- doesn't even feel a bit better, but it also makes you feel like shit because I'm like, ew, like this is how embarrassing to be addicted I know. to your phone. Like it's so embarrassing. Well, when we did Ugh. rat race, like I oh, literally yeah. would just be like, Oh my god, where's my phone? And I'd be like, they have oh, yeah, my phone. Like they have my yeah, phone. Like, they I, have my all phone. I kept thinking to myself was like, where's my phone? Where's my yeah, phone? Yeah. Where's my phone? I love, I love not having my phone. I like when, like, I like to go for a walk. I'm saying I'm going a walk with people or, or with somebody or whatever and being like, I'll leave my phone at home. Like, does somebody else have a phone? Because the only reason. I just get nervous. It's and like I an feel anxiety like, thing. Yeah. But it's like, if, it, if there's an emergency, someone has a phone and it's fine. Right. And then if I'm gone for two hours and something horrible happens in that two hours where I wasn't looking at my phone it's not going to change it if I was looking at my phone it's a you yeah. know what I mean like it's True. not gonna I don't know it's a crazy way to live life people yeah like, what if something happens in the last two hours like I must have my phone yeah no, people that's not how people live their life before you know that's true it's hard to think about carrier pigeon exactly exactly <laughs> why don't we bring that back bring it back I would love well except no I wouldn't because the pigeons are are feral and covered with herpes Ugh, I know but I feel so bad Rest for them recipes flacco I feel bad for pigeons because I you do. know I that they were bred for, for um, like for messenger for services domestication. and then the fucking and then the fucking and then they just U.S. Let them, Postal Service yeah. just said, uh, do what you got to do. And they well, now they literally all have herpes and that, that's why Flacco died, you know. Yeah. He, he was eating feral pigeons and also uh, poisoned rats, which, you know, rest in peace. But I do feel bad for them. They land on my windowsills all the time. I almost bought, Flacco. this was so insane of me. I almost bought, have you seen those, um... Like, not the bird feeder like Clem has, where it has the camera yeah. on it, which I also love. I want that, too. I want it so bad. But I, there's one where it's like a, it's like a, it's concave into your house. You, like, put it in your window. Yes, I have seen And you seen close those. the window, and it's a glass yes. thing that comes in like this. Yes. And then the birds, like, come in it and eat, like, whatever you put there. Yeah. I was going to get that for my window, and then I was like, it's only going to be pigeons. Like, yeah, why would I yeah, ever do this for my window? Yeah, it's just going to be gross. It's, it'll just be gross, yeah. full of, like, 40 pigeons, like, fucking in my window. Yeah, my friend who do. has a cat. Um, has that and the cat like watches all the birds oh it's that's really cute. cute yeah that's adorable yeah yeah like i would love that but it, unfortunately yeah if in new york my... if new york had better wildlife yeah exactly. but we're not exactly if i lived like upstate with... a little bit or yeah, something yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But in the middle of new york especially where i live like there's like this where i live it's kind of like a it's kind of like a wind tunnel in in some ways and mm-hmm. for some reason like thousands of pigeons chill there mm. and like they just like fly in a circle and like I can't tell if they're having fun or like what they're doing <laughs> but it's like this whole like tornado of pigeons every once in a while yeah I'll send you a video next time My I grief. can't uh, I can't post it because I'll dox where I live right maybe it's, it's uh crazy. instincts or something it's something weird is yeah. going on but it happens oh, I Pigeon notice it always ritual? on the weekends well because I'm oh. home on the weekends I think it just happens in the middle of the day but right. like they'll all sit in the tree 
And then all of a sudden, like, they all get up at once and, like, well, birds, fly in birds tandem in a circle. Birds do weird shit. It's bizarre. Like, I feel like I've seen birds do that, like, like whenever I'm, like, in the woods or something, I feel like birds are always flying, like, really, like, um, what's it called when they're, like, equally the same? Like, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all like, perfectly um, lined up. Like, right, right, right. They're Not in a V, so... because I know that's, like, migration, no. whatever, but they're they, in, the um, way that they just fly in tandem, what's like. What's the word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Everything they Formation. do. Formation. Yeah, they're, they, in a, they're in, like, perfect. a crazy, perfect yeah. formation yeah. every time. Yeah, it's nuts. That's why birds aren't real. Birds are crazy. Yeah, they're not real. They're they're made by the government. They're spies. We all know that. On you? We all know that. I anyway, do want to talk about um, Sabrina Carpenter with Skims. With Skims, yeah. which, uh, so you sent that to me on Twitter. Yeah, that was um, this morning. Unfortunately, I had already seen it based on the email in my inbox because I am a- You got a Skims email? I am a Skims shopper. I am um, a big Skims shopper, on the low. too. I actually haven't bought anything in a while because I pretty um, much this like- is Skims. I like changed all my basics to Skims and then I really haven't need to, needed to buy anything. But, right. Um, I think at this point- we just have to accept that Skims, like, unfortunately, it's Kim Kardashian's brand, but it's a good brand. Yeah. And it's good for your image, and it's and Sabrina's doing it, you know, we, and everybody gave shit to uh, Brittany Mahomes, to Brittany Mahomes so crazy. us included. Well, I guess we didn't really no, go that hard on her, did. actually. Dave went really hard on yeah. her. I don't think we went that hard on her. I don't her. think we went that hard on her, because I, I remember it was being with like, Patrick maybe she Mahomes. did it before, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think we went that hard on her for that. But, but like, but, yeah, like, get that bag. I think whatever about Skims. You also, know? it's an excuse to look hot. Sabrina looks fucking insane she looks amazing she looks amazing gorgeous. amazing so yeah. like what like whatever yeah get some sexy pictures of you in lingerie whatever you make some money unfortunately and it's, it's also brand. yeah exactly like it's great exposure yeah i think i think it would be say more about taylor if like there were rumors that she didn't let people that she loved or people she, that would she was be friends weird. with you know that would be weird It'd here's be like, the question okay, though what? is do we think that that like Brittany Mahomes was one thing, and I wouldn't really have thought in my head like she had a conversation with Taylor about right. this ahead of time. Do we think Sabrina? So I feel like yeah, probably because she's yeah. younger. Being like, hey, like, girl, listen, yeah, I got asked to do skims. It's like a, a multi-million dollar campaign, probably. Yes. Well, I think and about like how can I say no? Yeah. Also, too, with like agents, agents get involved, and it's yeah. like, okay, yeah, you got, you, oh my god, congrats, you got the five million dollar skims deal, or yeah, like a million dollar skim. Do, what amount of money? I think any amount of money you say yes to. Like, what do you say no yeah, to? Yeah, unless it's like, like someone that's grand? actually really, really bad. Like, unless right. it's like, you know, like an actual bad person. Oh, no. Oh, t- you totally, know what I mean? totally. Yeah. I mean more so like, what is the amount of money that would like make you still say no because of like your friend's beef? You know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah. Like, well, if they were underpaying me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, if it was yeah, like yeah. 10 grand, yeah. I'd be like, no way. Yeah. You know, loyalty would, to my friend. But it's like, hey, Sabrina, here's a oh, million I don't know, dollars. 10 grand, 10 grand, I think I would do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten grand again. I would, I'm not sneezing at ten grand. Yeah. I'm more so thinking like Sabrina. Oh, Sabrina. So yeah, 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 yeah. But even still, I think we just have to accept that, um, you know, while Kim is the devil, she's not going anywhere. Yeah. She's she is a, she's another cockroach, just like Scooter. Maybe a lesser lesser, lesser of the evil. Two, yeah. Lesser evil. Um, and I wish I just wish that. I wish I could squash that beef so I could just openly like skims. I know. You know what I mean, I wish that Kim would just like get on her knees and fucking beg for forgiveness. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Imagine like, if just, Taylor did a skims ad. That'd be that'd sick. be crazy. Well, yeah. again, that would be like that would help skims more than anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that would be too helpful to Kim and like make her a fuck ton of money. Yeah, that's true. Which is why I think that would never happen. But I've always been in the camp that I wish that we could like lay our arms down. But after that time article. And she still clearly has a lot of hatred towards her. And I don't blame her at all mm-hmm. because Kim was vindictive and disgusting. And we've talked about it before how I thought always that Kim was just being like a dumb bitch doing what yeah. her husband said and whatever. Turns out that wasn't the case. Yeah. And she needs to repent. And she just hasn't. And she has no remorse. Like every time they talk to her about it, she's like rolls her eyes about it. Like yeah. her whole family's kind of like suck this up and whatever. And, she, like, and she's being to... too prideful about it. Yeah. And it's like get over yourself, Kimberly. Like it's beyond. No, literally. And it's like we want to openly like your brand again. But unfortunately yeah. I'll have to, wa- you know, buy order it under silence. the cover of night. Yeah, yeah. buy in silence yeah. and not promote at all. I do Whatever. love Skims. I'm wearing a Skims bra and a Skims t-shirt I'm right now. I'm wearing Skims bra and Skims underwear, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, it's like the new, it's like the adult Victoria's Secret is the problem. Yeah. Everything fits great. And their stuff is just soft, so good. good quality. Yeah, good quality. Yeah, it's yeah, unfortunate. yeah, yeah it's it is unfortunate. unfortunate. I know, whatever. What are you going to do? I but really don't know any Sabrina, you look amazing. You literally look Sabrina insane. Amazing. And I love you yeah. so much. Please, I love you. She's so perfect. Oh, P.S. I listened to, um, over the weekend, you told me to listen to What's Her Face? Chapel Oh, Chapel Roan? Roan. And I loved it. Love. Love. So love. good, right? Love. 
Yes. Yeah. You guys, well, if you I don't know get... Chapel Roan, yeah. she opens for Olivia, Olivia Rodrigo mm-hmm. right now on her mm-hmm. tour. She's amazing. She's like an amazing queer artist. She, her mm-hmm. costumes are amazing. Her makeup's always on point. Her songs are so fun. And yeah, yeah she's an insanely talented singer. She's fabulous. Well. She's fabulous. So cute. Yeah. Um, I love... We um, never discuss, I don't think... Speaking of Olivia, did we ever discuss how her first couple shows she was like handing out condoms and birth control or plan B? We didn't talk about that, but I wanted to write a blog about it, but I was told to stay away from it. It's not. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's something, uh, I, especially online. Yeah, you know. Well, because we got we have a lot of like right wing people rolling through who are like plan B is the devil. Yeah, <laughs> like I like honestly, which I don't. I, agree I, I think with. people don't realize Olivia Rodrigo's fan base is actually older than it is. Like people yeah. just think that it's all like twelve year olds, but I like. Know. My number one artist was Olivia Rodrigo, and I'm 25. Like my Her, sister listens to Olivia Rodrigo, like, and I do too. I yeah. do too. But I will say, I think it's like half and half. I think okay. it's half adults, and then I think a lot of kids because she's very. I mean, she's a Disney person. Yeah, she came right from Disney. But I mean, like, I lost my virginity at 15 years old for sure. Like, but but think about like you. Ha- th- there are 12 year olds still, and like imagine like. I think my mom would fucking kill me. Like even at 15, if I yes. Oh, I, if my I mom also, knew I was I also yeah. had sex at 15. My mom found out about it later and was like mad at me for it. Like that was like a whole, which is not, which is not like, that's a whole nother story for another day. We can't talk about that right now. But (laughs) if I had come home from a concert at 15 with with plan Plan B, B, that would, my parents would freak the fuck out and be like, what the fuck, whatever. Not saying that I don't think that I like, I, you know, I'm a plan B advocate. Love, love, love love a plan B. Yeah. Love a condom. Love safe sex. Not really, but like, you know, in theory, (laughs) in theory, we love a condom. However, I don't think it was crazy for people to be like pissed off about that. No, or, like, I, I, I don't think so that. either. Yeah. Um, like I, I see kind both of, sides. I kind of don't do, do think it was hilarious though. Like oh, I, I, think- I would love it. Like if I showed up, I was like, yes, queen. Oh my God, like, I would stock up. I'd stock up. I'd pull it all. You know what I mean? Like I would yeah. do it. I would totally do it. Yeah, but I do get but, why yeah. it would piss parents off. Totally. Totally. But at the same time, like I feel like, Sex education is so backwards in the United States. It's terrible, like, yeah. They're gonna have, kids are gonna have sex anyway. Yeah, it's crazy. Well. And like, why are you teaching kids abstinence? Like, yeah, you should be teaching them safe sex because they're gonna abstinence have sex so anyways. Crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. It's yeah. just right. It's just like not that's realistic. what we were taught in high school. Abstinence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like okay, yeah. And then we had this lady come w- once that taught taught us about reborn virginity. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. She was like, course. "I'm a reborn Born again virgin. Virgins. Yeah, I'm Born a reborn virgins. virgin. Like, I didn't have sex for like two years or something like that." And that like, means shit. I'm born again. Yeah. It's like, oh, does it, girl? Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I don't... You still got that dick and that pussy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think you can take it back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you Ooh, still I don't think you can take it back. Yeah. I love the people that are like, if you don't have sex for X amount of time, it's basically like you've never had sex again. And you're, you're or like oh. before and it's you're born again. It's like, no, bitch. That's I don't not, know. I, don't I know wish the, that's how it works. I don't know if the scientists in the room yeah. are, are saying no. that. But um, I just, and also yeah. not to get into it, but the whole yeah you know just it's just so stupid it's all dumb i know yeah. this is a yeah this is a, a but a i well will fall down quickly yeah but the, um, i i appreciate the effort maybe there's yeah. still ways that you can like educate young children about safe sex and stuff like that for but sure. like handing out stuff is definitely like maybe crossing a line especially for yeah. like parents like. especially when you need like plan is hard to get they you know they lock that behind the counter yeah, that's like handing that away for free was i it, have no idea I think they had a partnership with julie i think it was julie not plan b plan b, plan b, plan b but I don't know what that is. What's Julie's Julie? like another brand of pl- Plan B. It's like the same thing, but a different oh, brand. Oh, I didn't Yeah, they know have that. different brands. Yeah. Oh you my could God. buy like CVS Plan B. That I know. That yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but, but, yeah. But um, yeah, Julie, they, yeah, great company. Yeah, good Same for them. vibes, good yeah. Good shit, good yeah. shit. Um, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, mm. I don't know. I think that, yeah, I mean, I, I get the outrage, I get the shit, but it's not happening anymore. They stopped it. It yeah. only happened like the first couple shows, right? Yeah, I think. it makes sense. Or like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, still hilarious, like really funny <laughs> to me. Get your condoms. Condoms, I think, are less like condoms or whatever. Yeah, there's also a huge stigma around Plan B. Like, like people that's think I mean, that. Yeah, I think, think that's like what makes it. Pill. Yeah, they think it's yeah, more like true. um intense mm-hmm. and like can like make you like not get pregnant, which is just not true. Not true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. Condoms, I think, are still funny though. Still <laughs> hand out. Like, I feel like they. Pro- they yeah, I feel the like condoms are concerts just as- have or condoms have been handed out at concerts. Like, I envision like. I bet they handed out condoms at like a Blink One Eighty Two show. You know what I mean? They like, hand out condoms like all over the place. Condoms I feel are like. everywhere. Yeah. Condoms are in like the nurse's office. They say. Yeah. I don't know I don't if that know. was ever the case in my school. No, though. no. They were no. really not promoting it at all. No. Nobody wanted. Oh my god! If someone had a condom sex. in school, you'd probably get in trouble. Yeah, you get in trouble. So crazy. Like, they would give like every whore. kid one like during the health 
like health class part where you learn about sex. Yeah, like, like we don't even. Everybody g- got one, and then that was it. And then everybody, all the guys, like held it in their wallets. And then four years later, when they finally had sex, right. they were like, "Here's my expired, my dried one. out yeah. condom. Can we use this?" Like, yeah, please, that's hilarious. God help me. No, definitely not with us. No, we had like an awkward older man being like, mm-hmm. "Don't have sex. Don't have sex. Yeah. Literally, the, yeah. the uh, or you'll die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah. that was sex, yeah. Or you'll die. We had that. That man was mm-hmm. literally our health teacher. <laughs> that was literally, yeah. So have and he was probably hooking up with a younger girl in oh, the closet like he was. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, That's so insane. It is. It is mm-hmm. funny. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. I definitely see both sides with that. Yeah. But um, the only things yeah. that I have left on here is Taylor and Travis apparently flew to oh. Philly. <laughs> yes, but wait, wait, wait. And they're Speaking- also were in Nashville. I, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, Travis went golfing as well. We'll talk about oh, that yeah. in a second. But wait, before we do that, I wanted to segue into, um, I don't know why I thought about it with, oh, oh, because oh, religion. I was thinking about oh. like plan plan B and blah, blah, religion. We have our, our another um, a, a member of our of our Swifty fam who I didn't know this. We, we shared it and I think it's hilarious. And I people were getting pissed off for no reason. But I had some people in my DMs, weirdly. About Travis oh, Kelsey's the, the Easter Jesus tweet. tweet. Oh <laughs> yes. my God! Wait, really? I didn't yes. see any DMs about and so, it. No, no. In my own, like when I had shared it from uh, Z Way, posted it, which oh, is how okay. I saw it, yeah. and I reposted it, and then you posted it on Taylor Watch, which was hilarious and so funny. T- uh, Travis Kelsey, of course, his old tweets are just a treasure trove of hilarity. Like it's the funniest so shit funny. yeah. I've ever seen. And the tweet was something was like. Um, it was like, happy Easter. Easter, hashtag shout out to Jesus for taking one for the team, yeah. dot, 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 ha, ha, ha. like something like yeah, that. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. Yeah. So funny. But apparently, yeah, he had to delete a bunch of tweets, and that was one of the ones he had to delete. And people were saying, like, he had to delete that tweet because it was offensive and whatever. Like, and it's I, not, not offensive. offensive. It's not offensive. It's funny. Like, the, the Catholics yeah. in the room need to lighten the fuck up. The Christians it's in the really, room. He, Jesus did take one for the that. team. He okay? did take one for the team. He literally died for thing. your sins. That's all they tell you is Jesus died for your sins. And it's like, and we have to be thankful for for it. Is so, that yeah. not taking one for the Thanks team? Thanks for taking one for the yeah. team, Jesus. No, literally. J Man? Like, yeah, like, what's the big deal? Travis was literally only just Hilarious. proving a point. So in more funny modern to me. terms. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, he's a he's a modern girl. Yeah, in a sorry, modern he's trying world. to relate to the younger <laughs> crowd and get them onto Jesus. Exactly. This is 2010. He's ahead of his time. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That's fucking, so funny, though. That people, so fucking funny. I mean, people are just so fucking annoying. People are so dumb. And yeah. So if you, if you were in my DMs the other day, and I'm sure this is the freaks in my DMs, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. Nobody who would actually listen to Taylor Watch. But like, if you were... I was nervous ugh. about posting it for a second, but then... I didn't even consider it. I know. I until didn't... I got, I think I got two DMs that were like, wow, not cool. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, and you follow me, by the way? Like, hey, by the I way, literally it's scream, like, God's not real half the time. Like, I don't think Jesus is going to get upset about no. this. Oh. Like he's been long gone. Jesus so is I think way we're dead okay. by now, yeah. girl. He's way dead by now. Yeah. Shout out. Like again, shout out. He's he's Christ has died, Christ has risen. Speaking of yeah. of um you know, rising, a lot of the jokes yesterday, tons, tons, tons or sorry, Sunday, Easter, all of them that who had the greater comeback, Jesus Christ or Taylor Swift mm-hmm. after <laughs> from his yeah. reputation. Yeah. I was laughing at all those every the one single time. Like, uh, Jesus' playlist was really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was like all these different Taylor Swift songs. Look what you made me do. Yeah. Wait, me look, let's read them. They're funny. Um, um they but, just yeah, it just to me is so I love to laugh. I love a here it is, yeah. It goes, not Jesus's playlist leaking. It's look what you made me do. You're on your own, kid. Yeah. You're not sorry. Yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. My tears ricochet and death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. Hilarious. That's Hilarious. funny. People are smart. People are funny. Yeah, whatever. I, Let's all laugh. Yeah. Let's all I, laugh a little bit. I, I People that are like so highly religious, like I respect it. Sure, sure. But I can't but get you on gotta, that But you got to have a laugh. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. So it doesn't mean you can't laugh. laugh. You can love like, Jesus and laugh. Exactly. People Live, laugh, love, as they say. That's what Jesus said himself, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's what said. Yeah. I think that's what Jesus said as he died on the cross was <laughs> live. <laughs> no, <I think> it- <laughs> that's what was written on the top of the cross. Like, <laughs> that was actually the Ten Commandments. That was, that was, they actually were the three commandments. And that then was actually Moses written in stone them. by Moses. Yeah, yeah. 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 Moses changed, actually yeah. wrote live, laugh, love. And then was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Someone needs like, a little. Yeah, got- actually, no, he wrote the Ten Commandments. And then he was like, nah, nobody's going to remember all yeah, this shit. And live, then laugh, laugh. Erased it. Yeah, yeah. Live, laugh, yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. That'd be easy. That's what happened. And that was Easter. And that's the story and of that's Easter, the folks. Story. That's the story of Easter. I guess maybe uh, Taylor and Travis were in Philly for. I don't know if yes, they were. Yes, I'm confused. So I didn't know this. I didn't know that they were traveling. Unfortunately, uh, I did see a picture of someone tracking Taylor's flight. <sighs> I know, which I was like, oop. But I, n- I didn't mm-hmm. really look anything into it further. Right. I just saw that they it were in up. maybe in Philly this weekend or around 
the weekend would make sense for maybe to a celebrate pre- a celebrate a little Easter with the kiddos. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's so fun. And then I believe Easter they were in hunt. Nashville. They were seen out and about in Nashville. That I didn't see. I miss that totally. I miss yeah. them in Nashville. Yeah, that's out in Nashville, like uh, yeah, like restaurants. Like a restaurant. Yeah, <gasps> yeah. Well, yeah how but did I miss this? I, I don't know. To be fair, I wasn't on. I wasn't on Twitter much this weekend. I was. Uh, I was with my family. Family Sunday. time. Oh, brunch went well. By the way, brunch was good. Oh, thank God. Beautiful day. Able to see. We, you know, we got to stand and look at the view for a while. It was nice. Yeah, lovely dinner. They looked lovey dovey in Nashville. According. Ooh. Oh, who says? Guess. TMZ. Even worse. Who's worse? Uh, Perez? Dumois. <gasps> Dumois? Yeah. The trash? Oh, I then know. I don't even believe they were I in know. Nashville. So, I, I take it back. I, even, I take it back. I don't even believe they were there. <laughs> Fake. Fake. They actually were not in Nashville. They were not there. <laughs> that was people wearing a wig. That wow. was Ashley. Yeah, oops. Like, yeah, that was Ashley. Oops. Fucking Dumois. I, I did not. Wow. I hate their dumb asses. Yeah, okay. I, I take God, that back. I hate them. Yeah. I was going to say, I didn't see a single... Did you see multiple or just from Dumas? Just, um, I saw a news article. L- uh, Life Pictures? and Style, I think. Pictures? No. Yeah, Life and Style. I like that they have uh, respect in Nashville. People won't take pictures. She has a, a multi-level condo th- yeah, in she has, Nashville. Yeah, she has a condo in town and they have a house out right outside. Hmm, ne- apparently. Slap. Her family. Or she does. Okay. The the house she has in Nashville is the one that's Arc Digest, I believe. Okay. That's the one she did. Or no, sorry. Um, Vogue 73 Questions. Right. Is oh, the house right, 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 did, right, 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 uh, right. I think that's still her Nashville home because, yes, they have a condo in the middle of town. I recently watched an Art Digest thing breaking down all of her properties. Oh. I know. It's, like, kind of stalkerish, but I was so curious because she's just – she's one of I the mean, most, I mean, if it's like, an available video to watch. No, totally. Like, she's also – I think we talked about this already. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. But she – um She's regarded as one of the most like successful people – like, real estate people. Oh. Like, she's smart with her real estate. Okay. And so she has, like – they always are talking about what she does with her properties in New York, how she's like building a compound kind mm. of, like she's buying up, like she has Cornelia street. Then she bought the place behind it. She bought like the whole building next to it. Like she's building like a right. compound for herself in New York slowly. Then she has obviously the house in Rhode Island, the house in New York, one in LA, one in Nashville, the condo in Nashville. It's a lot Damn, of shit. That's a lot, a lot of, of fucking property. I know a ton of properties. Yeah. So it's cool. I'm sure she's probably got some kind of timeshare in the Bahamas. She really does love the Bahamas. Like when I was watching that shit, she's like always on vacation. Yeah, that's like, true. That's like her her like top vacation spot. So she probably has some kind of something that's going funny, on a down there too. That's funny. A timeshare in the Bahamas. Like maybe <laughs> like something. I could only assume. Like she's not. What is she renting out a place? Yeah, like, yeah. That, she goes there so so frequently, and with her family and stuff. So who knows? But um, the I, I bet. If they were in Philly, I bet anything it was a little bit of a an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, family, oh family God, situation, so and then so Nashville cute. see her uh, see her parents because they, as we know, the the Swifts love an Easter egg hunt as well. Right? Maybe There's they were doing her yeah. in Austin yeah, doing that's, it. Video so hilarious, funny. hilarious. Ex- exactly me and my brother. Yeah, they're probably the just way. doing um the family stops. Family stops. Kylie yeah. was on good morning america i always get confused good morning america today oh. show or one of those yeah and she said um that like taylor and Travis, like it's been everything's been amazing fabulous and that like as long as travis is happy that they're all happy of course and yeah they just said like that they've been like really supportive of the relationship and they Obsessed. yeah kylie likes taylor i could tell she's really nice yeah i mean I want to be is. friends with Kylie so bad. I know, bad. she's so she cool. She seems so cool. She's so cool. So cool. I want um, Francesca to ask her to have her own chicks in the office. Oh my God, she really should. I know. Yeah. Especially because they're, cause they're you know, all, everybody's a Philly girl. Yeah, Philly yeah. Philly girls in the house. Eagles. Yeah, exactly. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. Right? Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, that would be a great... That'd be a great I would love. Her. Imagine we yeah, get to yeah, meet yeah. her. That'd we, be we so pop nice. In. Oh, we peek obviously. Through. We'll be like, oh my god, hey, love you so much. yeah. We talk about you all the time. How cool you are. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a nice I wonder, stream. Let's see. Let's take a little look. See at my girl Taylor Swift styled. I haven't really been seeing to see if we have any clothes, mm. like cute outfits popping off lately. Well, she hasn't really been out and about. That's what I mean. The only outfit we have really is the one that she wore out to uh, Nobu, which mm. is that that cute light blue sweater and little tan skirt. Um, the iHeart Music ha- Awards are tonight, I think. And oh, there, are they? Yeah, there were people say t- Taylor is nominated for a lot of them, obviously. But um, people were saying that they might. S- they were like, I wonder if Travis and Taylor will go together. But I doubt it. Interesting. I doubt it. Um, I would also be surprised if Taylor goes. Like, I feel like. Yeah, I don't. I think she went though. She's been. But she, I don't oh know no, when. that's where she yeah. announced Midnight's. I think, isn't it? That was VMAs. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Same vibe with though. the with the hood up when she had that hood. I don't know. I think that was like Lover Era, was it not? 
No, it was Midnight's. I know she she definitely Taylor announced Hood Midnight's at outfit. VMAs. This one. This one. Is that the iHeart? From the 2023, let's see. It could have been VMAs. No, iHeart Radio Awards. Oh, okay. And that's where she... I thought it, she announced Maybe Midnight's she, at the VMAs. She might have. She might have. I, I might I might be wrong about her announcing Midnight's in this outfit. Yeah, she's Maybe in the she just, she's in that sparkly dress. Oh, fucking yeah, does. Sorry, really, sorry, really sorry. Sparkly yes, dress. yes, yes. The bejeweled yeah. outfit. Yeah. But then this was right after. Oh, okay. Like they were they were like one after another. Hmm. Yeah, this was March twenty eighth, and then when did she announce? When did? When was it? Uh, that was announced. Twenty twenty two VMAs. August. 22 VMAs. 29th or 28th. Okay, so literally nowhere. So I'm lying. Yeah, I'm August. Lying th- I'm just lying through my teeth fully. That's okay. Why did I feel that that outfit had something to do with Midnight's? I mean, it does give a Midnight's vibe. It totally does. Was she sitting next to Ice Spice maybe? Something. Something was going on. I'll figure it out and I'll get back to you. Mm. Something happened at that iHeart. Maybe I'm just thinking about that outfit because it was so crazy. Yeah, I don't think on. Ice Spice was a thing back then either. <laughs> no, she really wasn't. Yeah. But I like really feel like there's a picture of the two of them while well, she's wearing that outfit. There's something with that outfit. I mm. swear to God, I will I will circle back. Um, but yeah, I don't think she's going. Yeah, I don't think she's going either. I think we would know. Yeah. Where is it being held? Do we know? L.A. Yeah. If they were L.A., in, if they were, L.A., baby. LA, LA. If they were in... Um, Philly and Nashville. I doubt she's back in LA now. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think she was there for a while already. And I feel like they probably don't. What do you I think she know. was doing in LA for that long? A music video? Question mark. Ooh, ooh. I would love that. Because she was there for a while. I don't know. I feel like LA, Why else like she, be there? she probably has to do like a bunch of meetings and stuff before the for album sure. comes out. Like true, all like the true. people, like they all, it's all based out of LA. I'm sure. So true. But who knows? Mm. Just do twerking and working probably. Twerking and working. That's our girl. Yeah. She never stops. Yeah. Never quits. Never works, gives up. Works her, her little booty to the bone. Never give up. Never back down. Never gonna give you up. Oh, never, never gonna, gonna let you down. Never, never gonna, gonna run around and desert you. And you just got Rickrolled. Bye. Um, <laughs> bye. Yeah, yeah, bye. Yeah. Um, I do think that's about it, though. What else has she got yeah, going on? Yeah, that's all I got. Really. I, yeah. I, haven't, I didn't see anything else crazy. We talked about the Easter jokes. Hilarious. Yeah. All the, all the hap, hap happenings. Um, yep, that's all I have. Yeah. That's all I saw, too. All right. Well, good vibes. We, uh, 18 good vibes. days. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Have everyone. A fa- hope your day has been fabulous. Hope yeah. This, hope this kept you fed for the week. And yeah. again, we're all just waiting on pins and needles for the new new. At this point, we're going to bring it up every episode. Like, we're just waiting for the new new, waiting for the new yeah, new. Yeah, I feel like April's going to be a big countdown month. Big countdown month. Um, we are still doing the, we're still, oh, oh, so we decided, I forget if we said this on the pod or not. We decided oh. that we're just going to record ourselves for the album drop and then release it later. We're yeah. not going to do it yeah. live. We're releasing like the day the live. album comes out. Yes. Yeah. So like that Friday. Yeah. So people are going to want to, right. Cause people want to listen. They want to do their own thing. We are going to, well actually tell me what you think, what you think. Cause oh. I, I texted you this the other day when I was in the middle of like a discussion about oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. I said that we should invite Dave for the listen. Yeah. No way he says yes, but he's, he may or may not be here that week. Yeah. So we're trying to be like, Oh, is he going to be here? Like there's something going on that he might be here. What do we think about that? Do we think that we should? We, I think yeah, we should might as well him. just invite him and be like, "Hey, like, hey, come on over, <laughs> hey, hey, we're, we're doing a live party. listen at midnight. If yeah. you want to come over, we're, like, do you, do you mean like in person or like we give him an invitation? <laughs> I think maybe we like make. I up think an we should make like a really and be like an invitation, invitation from yeah. the torture poets. Yeah, department. yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. We, go, we go to like a craft store and like yeah, get it. yeah, I, I agree. Fun and like a we stamp it like a seal. Yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. That's I'm like down for K- that. K and G like yeah. mixed together. That'd be no, cute. No, T.W. Taylor Watch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That'd be very cute. I think that'd be funny. He'd appreciate it, I, I think. I think he'd like it. And yeah. he'd think it was silly. Yeah. <laughs> no way he says yes. And if he says no. yes, I'll puke because then I have to oh, think God, about my apartment. Yes. <laughs> I have to like. We're all sitting there. Like, I have to remodel my apartment. <laughs> I have to be like, oh, sorry, quickly. I actually live, I actually live at the Ritz. Yeah. <laughs> that's so crazy. Actually, I'm Eloise. Oh I'm yeah, at the wait. plaza. <laughs> <laughs> we kick like the tenants uh, out of my parents apartment yeah literally yeah. literally yeah. yeah right hey oh that'd be so crazy yeah he comes in and i have like my all my like snacks out like my little cheese board of like, Trader like Joe's Taylor Swift ch- assorted cheese yeah <laughs> yeah right it would have to be Taylor Swift themed yeah which it will be regardless but yeah. you know with us it's like we can have fun but if dave's there it's a whole nother thing so i think we'll see we'll invite him hmm. see what he says he'll likely say no um 
But besides that, looking forward to it. I'm excited. So freaking Paris excited. Paris is on the horizon. Paris is on the horizon. Closer New album. Ever. Yeah. Talked everything's up. everything's coming up roses. It's all coming up roses. And, and I'm very excited. Very excited. Um, Thursday, as always, will be our our Swifty voicemails, questions, voicemails, DMs, texts yeah. episode. Um, Three four seven four five zero zero seven two three three four seven four five zero zero seven two three. If you want to leave a voicemail or a text, and then also you can DM the Taylor Watch Instagram account if you yes. want. Uh, you have questions, thoughts, Taylor ideas, dot watch. things you want to talk about, ideas. We've been really, you guys have really been crushing it with like the ideas, yes, questions, the questions, ideas are amazing. I love it. Love They're it. So good. Love it. Voicemail I live for is them. my favorite because yeah. I just love hearing everybody's voices. And um, that's about it. We will uh, see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye.